<laughs> well, I have a story to tell you today about my backpacking trip that I took my scouts a couple weeks ago. It was a 15 miler overnight and it was pretty awesome, right? And I've, uh, I got to try out a piece of gear that I did a lot of research on, that I did a prior video on, and uh, this is my after action report of using that piece of gear and I just could not be more satisfied. In fact, the truth of the matter is, had I known now what I know, no, no, had I know then what I know now, then uh, I would have bought this, like I said, like it's, this would have saved me a whole lot of heartache a while ago. Monies may have been spent very differently, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now it is kind of a premium piece of gear, but it's well worth it. And I'm going to explain why. I'm going to give you all the features uh, as a refresh real quick and uh, some of the real big takeaways about why I think this is something that every person who goes backpacking, every person who goes camping in an area, and uh, you know, you're a little bit questioning the water, like what we have here in Ohio, uh, I suggest that you get it. So, and today's video is really about the piece of gear that is attached to this pack. This is an old Yucca pack. It's a Boy Scout pack from the 1930s, uh, 1940s. It's hard to tell. Uh, we do know that it was made before 1952 because of the seal on it. But this style of Yucca pack had lasted for a long time. Today's piece of gear we're going to talk about in the story is going to be about the Grail. The Grail here. Now, if you are not familiar with the Grail water filtration system, it's really simple to use. I got it for a couple reasons. First of all, it guarantees against viruses. And there's a story that goes along with that overall. It also is all in one. So everything is right here. I don't have a lot of bits and bobs and pieces to try to coordinate and work through. It is all right here. Now, all you have to do, it's really simple, is you take this part here, and there's a little line inside, you fill it up with water. Once you fill it up with water, this is the filtration part, and this does have a one-way valve, so you can use it for mixed beverages and even uh, uh, beverages that may have carbonation in it. So you can do that. It's not going to mess up the filter, so that's pretty cool. Then up top here, because there's air that's going to be in here, so you have to let air escape, and you don't want it to squirt out. So you turn this little knob here just a bit, and you press down. That's why it's called the GeoPress. And I would suggest that you choose to do the GeoPress. Now, the reason why it's taking a lot of strength to do this right now is because of that one-way valve. If I had that one-way valve out, it honestly wouldn't be so bad. But just pushes through, the water shoots up through the filter and into the bottle. All right, so there it is. Like I said, it really doesn't take that long if you have that one-way valve out. And then you close it up and you're good to go. It's that simple, right? All in one, boom, bam, it's done. This thing cost me $89, 89 some change. Um, I think I got $10 off of it because of this color combination and they have deals and sales and going on. If you're interested in getting one, I do have my affiliate link below. It helps out the channel, uh, but it doesn't cost you anymore. But shop around and see what you can get. There's even a titanium version of it now. And uh, you know, it's, you're gonna pay pay quite a bit for that version but it is nice because you can still use it as a cooking cup you know this part here i don't have that kind of money to spend on it and i have other gear that i use anyways for that purposes so for just grab and go this was awesome right and i carried two water bottles i carried this one and i carried my other water bottle and i like it because i actually had the opportunity to use this for my troop um, because not everybody has a water filtration system and this is certainly better than the little tablets. You have to wait half hour for the little tablets, right? You have to heat up the water. And who wants to drink hot water after you boil it? Not me, not me, okay? So boiling certainly will get you so far. I'm not into that. And plus, if you drink it with tablets, if you drink it after boiling, that taste, the lake water taste or stream taste or whatever, is still gonna be there. If it's high iron or something like that, it's still gonna be there. And it also, you're gonna be drinking all those heavy metals and PFAs, right? Even if you boil it, you're still gonna drink those heavy metals and PFAs. This, on the other hand, takes care of that. And if you wanna be in this game for a long time, I'm telling you, 
you know, take that extra precaution. It, it's $25 to replace the filter. This will definitely do me probably for two, maybe even three seasons. You should change it every three years. And uh, so 65 gallons, I don't know about you, but that's a lot of water. I'm, I don't use 65 gallons in a year. I'm probably not going to use 65 gallons in three years. So depending on how much outings you do and how much you're really filtering out your water, uh, your mileage will vary. But overall, I thought that this was a really good investment. Now, here's the story. So here we were. We were hiking along oh, Wildcat Hollow Trail here in Ohio. Now, there's a lot of mining in Wayne National Forest land, like mining all over Ohio. And of course, we have all these disasters that's kind of mess with our water pretty bad. So we just don't have good water here in Ohio. Not, not anything that I would trust, right? So we took extra water, like the gallons of water. But it was warm. It was 85 degrees on Saturday. On Sunday, it got up to, I think, 87, almost 90 degrees in the heat of the day. And uh, it, we, the, I mean, it wasn't like super strenuous, all right? But it was definitely a strenuous hike on the first day. The second day was pretty easy because it was a lot more, more flat land. But we were going up and down. If you've ever been in the Hawking Hills or the Appalachian Foothills here in Ohio, I'm telling you, there's a lot of this. And sometimes there's a lot more of that than there is a lot of that. So anyhow, we ran out of water, right? And, but there's streams here and there. Every time we came to a stream, I was filling up, man, because I was drinking. It was sweating out faster than I could keep it in. And we had the troop there. We had uh, 13 boys with us. So we had to fill up those containers as well. Now, another scout leader, they had a different system. They had the life straw system with a gravity feed and a pump and everything that did, did well, you know, for what it was. But man, I was filling up bottles left and right with this thing a matter of time that it took them to, you know, pump one one bottle. It was really easy. Find the clearest part of water that you can find, reach down there, bring it up, push it down. And the water was so cold. The water was delicious. It was so good. I'm telling you, so good. And that's something that the life straw and the Sawyer water filters can't do. It doesn't change the flavor of it because it's not the the carbon that doesn't have the activated charcoal and carbon filter. All right, this will change the water. And it was some of the best daggone water I've ever drank in my life, y'all. I'm telling you. So that in itself is good. And if you have little kids or a family and they're drinking that water, like, yeah, this tastes gross. Or maybe some people just don't like tasting water. I don't know. So if you have that kind of situation, that be you or family or friend or whatever, then having this will you know, save you a whole lot of grief and will encourage special little picky ones uh, to drink it, to drink it, right? So anyhow, Grail is probably the one item that I wish I would have got a long time ago. It's an investment. It's like $100 for a water bottle, right? But when you think about everything you're getting with it, it's a pretty sweet deal, y'all. I'm telling you, it's a pretty sweet deal, especially when you consider your health. Again, you could boil it, but then you gotta wait for it to cool down because nobody likes hot water unless it's in their coffee or tea. And it's a heck of a lot better than the little tablets because those tablets taste gross and it takes a half hour to get them to process. So this saves you time because you can just fill it up and go. And when I was uh, having my little lunch, I was sitting down by the creek and everything, which by the way, there was beaver in the area beaver in the area now that's really where you want to consider about viruses because uh if you have wildlife especially beaver you got to be careful about that water source i was so thankful that i had this because i could drink it with confidence and i haven't had any issues this was two weeks ago so i think i'm my stomachs is okay you know i think i'm healthy but it's thanks to this you know uh it's a it's a peace of mind if you know what i'm saying but Anybody can do this. I gave this to my youngest scouts and they went off to the creek to fill up water gallons and stuff. Um, and they were easily able to do it rather quickly and be on our way and come back to camp and enjoy the evening, especially after a long day's hike. So I think this is something you should get against. Again, my affiliate link is below. It helps the channel, but ultimately it's gonna help you too getting one of these. You can search around, but I'm telling you, you should get one of these, okay? One of the best decisions I ever made. All right, now, we have 
some roundtable discussions and special guests coming up in the Camp Crafters Guild. And I want to personally invite you to come and join us for those roundtable discussions. If you have been wondering if you should really get vintage gear like the canvas backpacks, you know, because you see all those bush crafters use and everything, or maybe you should go with a nylon or something like that. We have some guests coming on that's going to help you make those decisions. And it is not going to be on YouTube Live. It is going to be on the Camp Crafters Guild, which is a really cool opportunity because you actually get to interact with them directly, kind of like a Zoom call. You know what I'm saying? but it's exclusive to the Camp Crafters Guild members. You can get on there for five days. We have been waiting on you to join, try it out, and uh, see if you like it. We have challenges, and we wanna support you. We wanna support you in your camping, your backpacking, hiking, and if you are into vintage camping, you don't know what you're missing because we got such an awesome resource library. We got members on there who love to research and just, they geek out over vintage gear. So uh, if you're on my channel, chances are you're probably into the vintage gear and the vintage campcraft. Uh, I encourage you to join us, and it's pretty awesome uh, to have those one-on-one -on -one conversations with people who like the same things you do. And we want to help you on your journey, whatever that journey is. Maybe at this point in your life, you don't like camping or backpacking a whole lot, but you do like to collect stuff. That's all right. Come on in. We welcome you with open arms. And the campfire is waiting on you. Now, if also, if you haven't checked out my newsletter, you can subscribe to my free monthly newsletter. The link is below. Uh, this month, we got the article is coming out. It's actually about historic compasses and how to use historic compasses. Not quite the same as it is like the modern base plate compasses or even the lensatic compasses. So there are some hints, tips, and tricks on there. So you can actually get out there and play around with it and uh, see what it's like. And just like the old explorers did and their forefathers. It's pretty awesome, all right? Now, if you like this video about like the grail, but you're interested in like what camping cook set you should get, or maybe even cooking you should do, then you need to check out this playlist here, all right? I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Give a kiss and hug to your loved ones. I can't wait to see you again soon. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care.